We just got our first order from Just Eat. It is a breakfast shift. I don't know if things will be busy. Hopefully they would be. Eight, seven, one, two, eight. Yeah. Is there any hot drinks on them um, by any chance? No, it's just a cold one. Okay, awesome. Uh, do you like double lid your hot drinks? Yeah. Uh, the hot drinks we do, yeah. Okay, awesome. So you put like a cold drink lid on Scary. top. Okay, awesome. Yeah, That's so just because I'm the bike. Yeah. Okay, yeah, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> this customer is 12 minutes away, 2.1 miles. It looks like breakfast is going to be a bit of a slow one. I'm relying on exclusively McDonald's orders to, uh, to get orders. Uh, and Greg's, if I can get some Greg's ones. But KFC, I also get orders from Just Eat. But breakfast time, I don't think people are going to be having fried chicken. Hi, it's Bethany. Awesome. I was uh, surprised by the house numbering. It's so yeah. it's kind of crazy here. <laughs> Everyone uh, gets confused. That's the food. And uh, drinks in that one there. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. Bye. All right, guys. We made £5.38 on that delivery. I'm going to head back into the town centre. I'm really hoping we get enough orders. We're going to grab the drinks for this shift. It's a little bit quiet on uh, Just Eat right now. So whilst I wait for orders, I'm going to pick up some Tory Fanta. The funny thing is, is a lot of my uh, subscribers have been saying that this is Tory Fanta. So I'm thinking that means it's like Posh Fanta. Uh, but the funny thing is, it's actually the cheapest drink here. It's £1.10. It was, I think it was one pound earlier, but all the other drinks are pretty much like one pound fifty. Actually, maybe it's because of the size, but still. Okay, guys, I'm gonna buy two of these. Uh, reason being, Homeless Santa has donated five drinks, so these will be the two for the shift. I'll probably have one during the shift, and then I will have this one for when I'm editing. Oh, is this working again? Okay, awesome. Alright. One Tory Fanta down. Second Tory Fanta. And pay for this. Scan your club card to win club card points. Okay, all right, guys, two Tory Fantas bought. Thank you so much. Oops, <laughs> I got hooked on there. Yeah, there we go. Cheers, mate. Thanks. <laughs> My bag got hooked on one of these uh, wooden panels. That was uh, pretty comical. <laughs> Luckily, no, no one saw that. Again, I want to say a big thank you to Homeless Santa for buying me five drinks. He says, love the daily videos, bro. How about getting a drink from Wakey Wines? Wakey Wines. It would cost me an arm and a leg for Wakey Wines. They, uh, I'm sure they charge like prime at like, I don't know, like 15 pounds a bottle. We're going to head towards the next town, uh, over towards Beeston. We're going to be crossing a smaller town called Chilwell. Uh, the reason being is I'm not getting very many orders here. I'm hoping that... Uh, by going over to that area, I can go here, it's clear. I'm hoping by going over to that area, we will have more orders. We do have a shift until 12.45, so it's a four hour shift. Um, 
I'll see how long I want to do that shift. But you can actually end the shift early if you wanted to. Sometimes I do that just to get a head start on the editing, just to make sure I can get the daily upload ready for you guys. I just had an order pop up on uh, my Just Eat app, but then it just disappeared. And then it just said, do you want to resume orders? I've been active the whole time. Just Eat messing with me this morning, <laughs> just a little bit. Especially when there's not many orders, like when that pops up, it's like you get this kind of uh, dopamine hit and then when it disappears, it's like stress. Okay guys, so we've arrived to the second McDonald's. We're going to be in this little retail park for a little bit to see if we get some orders. I don't even know, we've got Costa up ahead. I don't know if that does deliveries. I've never de really delivered in this kind of area just because it's mostly for car drivers. But you'll see here we have McDonald's on the left. So we're just going to be parked outside of here. So we are parked outside of McDonald's, just sitting down. There's a delivery driver uh, picking up an order, so that's a good sign. Taking my gloves off, got my uh, phone there. Got my two drinks. Hopefully we'll get an order on the Just Eat app. Oh, why am I going into the drive-thru? I have just got an order from Costa, Uber Eats. Not the best paying order, but I'll take it when it's quiet. The thing I do like about breakfast shifts is it is really relaxed. Uh, where am I going to lock my bike up? I'm just going to lock it up to this pole. Yeah, the breakfast shifts are really relaxed. I, uh, there's less traffic, less people, just a bit more of a calm atmosphere. I've got Harry D. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Okay, so this customer is four minutes away. I'm going to cut across here. Perfect timing. And we're going left. And around the roundabout we go. Do they even have roundabouts in the US? I've got a, quite a few subscribers from the US, but I've got a feeling they don't even have roundabouts there. Yeah, right, mate, that was good timing. Let's get this one out for you. It's Harry, right? Yeah. There you go, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Have a good one. We made three pounds on that order. It was a nice little quick drop off. To be honest, it was really quick to deliver that one. So I don't mind them three pound orders. Uh, and we got an Uber Eats Pro Point. Just one. Uber Eats being a little bit stingy with their points. <laughs> but to be honest, the Uber Eats Pro Points is something quite new. And uh, I'm not really interested in the perks. Basically, it's like a reward system so that you get, the more points you get, the more access to perks. Things like uh, gym membership, um, educational courses, stuff that drivers uh, don't really uh, care that much about. We've cycled over two miles to the next town here in Beeston. We got an order on Just Eat for Greg's, which meant that I had to cycle over two miles, which obviously is a lot of my battery and also my time, but Just Eat, I think is a lot busier in this town at the moment. So I was willing to take the order that was gonna get me paid. So at least I was getting paid to come into the town. We're taking a nice little shortcut through this street. I love showing off these kind of areas of towns here in the UK, especially for my foreign audience who have never seen anything like it. But I think the British architecture, the, the brick, buildings the beautiful kind of uh, shrubs and trees it's really nice i think i'm turning into bear grills right now thank you I'm just gonna grab the sword i think maybe. It's not you... ready yet. oh it's not ready i think it's i guess you work here yeah <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. It's uh, zero double seven six eight. No problem. So four two three three, yeah. Uh, no way, no look. <laughs> zero so, double seven six eight. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, is, is there right. drinks in any of them? Uh, no, it's just it's just all food. Okay, yeah, yeah. sweet. Perfect. This customer's 11 minutes way, 2.3 miles. We're taking a shortcut behind the back of Greg's. Uh, and the pay on this one's decent, but it's probably taken me about half an hour in total. It will take me about half an hour in total to deliver this one. People are always wondering why I'm talking to myself, <laughs> especially about deliveries and stuff like that. It's super strange just to be saying it out in public, but I've got used to just saying it and not caring what people think. And uh, I'm getting better at that. My confidence is growing with uh, making videos and talking out in public because it's not easy. I have never been here before. There's like a massive industrial estate. I've never seen this. I don't even know if I can ride my bike here. Yeah, I can. I'm just going to go onto the pavement. Ah, it's a Boots headquarters or something. I'm here to buy a car. Fine. No, I'm just kidding. I'm uh, just uh, <laughs> delivering an order for Robin. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Just, uh, there is a Robin here, right? <laughs> awesome. Yes, it's food. You can't get more exciting than that. <laughs> oh, I hope. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. Cheers. We made £6.97 on that uh, order. We've got some Aston Martin dealership here. Look how beautiful them cars are inside of there. It's funny because when I went into Audi, I said I wanted to buy a car and they instantly knew it was a joke just because the chances of uh, me buying an Audi right now is nil. But um, I have that mindset that when I'm uh, older content creation is very lucrative especially I'm early into this really I've been doing this for a couple of years but by the time I'm in my mid 30s I will be in a position I'm pretty sure to earn uh, enough to buy a nice car like that but it's not the whole point like I don't need to buy a nice car like that I'm more than happy to drive a good quality kind of just cheaper car that's gonna last because it's a better investment because a car is like a depreciating asset <laughs> As soon as you buy it you lose the value so for me it's right now i'm happy with my van my bike it's a very low cost of living in terms of uh fuel because i'm cycling everywhere i rarely use my van so we are heading oh someone looks like they pitched up on a tent there so we're heading into beeston and uh we're going to be going down this canal absolutely beautiful you have these kind of canal boats here which i'm going to show you in a sec People actually live on them, especially during the summer. So these kind of boats, and usually on top of the boats, they have like a garden. So that's their garden. They've got like a bedroom in there, living room, everything you need. I think they cost probably around 150 to 200,000. So people sell their houses uh, when they retire and buy them. And they might have a smaller property for like the winter time. But I think it's pretty cool. Like you can literally travel from place to place on these. Oh, we've got one here. We've got some geese on the right here. Hopefully we don't get attacked. Chill, chill. Okay, yeah, they're fine. And then we have another canal boat here. You can see the smoke coming out of the boat. 
that means they're probably lighting either a fire or they're cooking Christmas has come early. Thank you so much, Homeless Santa, for this drink. I really need it because I'm absolutely knackered. All the cycling from my town to the other two towns. Thank you. Mm. Super refreshing. Like, it's sparkling, but it's like a little bit sweet. It's not over sweet. It feels like goodness in a can. It's a really good marketing slogan. I think they should, I think Sam Pellegrino should use this, but I hope you love these when I'm filming. When I'm editing, which is pretty much like every day right now. So thanks again, Homer Santa, which is a pretty funny name as well. When that came through, I was like, that is definitely not a, a typical name that I'm used to like popping into my buy me a coffee list and I'm just mumbling right now. But anyways, you get the point. Thank you. All right, guys, we have an order from the pudding pantry on Deliveroo. Just the is gone quiet. Again, Beeston Street Art, you can see on the left-hand side, is absolutely stunning. Still got a bit of this drink left to finish, but uh, it really makes a big difference, like, having this, these drinks. Um, I know I keep banging on about it, but I really appreciate all of the uh, support um, with keeping me energized for these kind of daily uploads, because it does take a lot out of me. And... Uh, we shouldn't really be cycling here, but uh, I just go really slowly. I don't see any issue with it. I think it's the people who just cycle like disrespectfully here that causes issues. So we're picking up from the pudding pantry, with, which is like a brunch dessert place. Cheers. Oh, yeah, I've got two six three one. Awesome, thank you. Thanks. Cheers. That was a nice fast pickup. Not used to that with Just Eat. So this customer is only a few minutes away, which is a really nice uh, delivery because um, while I'm waiting for orders in Just Eat, I can quickly do this one. And I'm hoping by the time I deliver that one, I'll have a Just Eat order waiting, but looks like it's gonna be pretty quiet. It's uh, 11 a.m. Give it maybe half an hour and then all the lunch orders start to come in because I've got a shift till 12.45, it's like a four hour shift as I was saying earlier. Yo mate, how's it going? I was just going around in circles in this place. Yeah, where it says <laughs> Oaks or anything. Ah, there we go, yeah, the outdoor. Outside yeah. exercise equipment. Awesome. It makes it look, because it's usually guys in cars, so they usually know exactly. Exactly where to go. As soon as they saw a cyclist, I was like, oh, low. He doesn't know where to go. But I saw you go up that way, so I said, oh, but I'll slowly walk, and then I saw you come that way. Awesome. Yep. Well, at least I know ne for next time, I'll, uh, <laughs> oh no. Okay. Have you got the uh, two digit code? 78. 78, awesome. Yes. Cheers, mate. Appreciate Cheers. it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too, mate. We made £2.90 on that delivery order. Proper nice customer. And uh, the Uber Eats base fare is actually higher than Deliveroo which is interesting. Uber's three pounds, which we did earlier. Deliveroo is two pound 90. But we've just got an order from uh, Just Eat on Greg's, which is uh, gonna be taking me back towards my local town, which is perfect. Yeah, mate. Got a double three zero one one. Yeah, just need to pack it up for you. No problem. Yeah, yeah, take your time, mate. Is your shift ending soon or? What? Is your shift ending soon or? Mine is, yeah. Okay. In the next 20 minutes. Oh, okay. This is the that period of time where you're looking forward to uh, uh, free time. <laughs> what time did you start then? Uh, half five. Half five? Wow. Yeah. Man. So what time do you have to wake up then? Uh, like half four. So what time do you have to go to bed? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. You, might, you either don't get much sleep or you have to go to bed really yeah, early. Yeah, yeah. Much, yeah. Normally like nine. Nine, yeah, that makes sense. Awesome. Uh, any uh, drinks on them? Or? Uh, it's just cold drinks. Oh, okay, perfect. I love it when it's cold drinks because there's no risk of spillages. Do you get that happening a lot, like drink spills or...? Not, not, we've not been told or anything. Yeah. Cheers, mate. See you later. So this customer is 1.3 miles away. It's going to take me about eight minutes to go uh, to get deliver to the customer. And um, this is going to take us like kind of halfway to Long Eaton. And then in Long Eaton, I think it's going to be around lunchtime. People are going to start ordering a McDonald's. Just a guess. Like, let's see if that guess actually comes true. Um, I wasn't working bank holiday Monday yesterday uh, just because I had a feeling that people, because of the nice weather and because it's a bank holiday Monday, they're just going to be out in the pubs just uh, enjoying the weather, having barbecues, things like that. Oh, yeah. So, Duncan. Awesome, mate. Let's get this one out for you. The, and that's the cold drinks. Food there, do you mate? Awesome. awesome. Cheers, take care. Right. We made £5.57 on that one. We made £23.82 in two hours, pretty much. And that comes out to £11.91 per hour, so almost £12 per hour. I feel pretty tired after this shift just because I shouldn't really be cycling so much back and forth the mileage has been pretty crazy on this on this ship for sure